In your mercy, pardon our sins, and forgive our faithful departed that they may rest in peace. In the company of all those who accomplish your will, we raise glory to you by a glorious joy. And that 
is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that we did not know him. Praise to God, O Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. The chief priests and scribes were looking for a way to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him, for they said, not during the festival, or they, there may be a riot among the people. While he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at table, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard, and she broke open the jar and poured the ointment on his head. But some, there, but some were there who said to one another in anger, why was this ointment wasted in this way? For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and the money given to the poor. And they scolded her. But Jesus said, let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, and you can show kindness to them whenever you wish, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Truly I tell you, wherever the good news is proclaimed in the world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. <laughs> Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bishop Felipe, you have challenged us in a very kind and genteel way, <laughs> but you kept me up last night <laughs> just thinking this, this is, first of all, this, this beautiful gathering of priests. We have all of our priests here except for three who had very special reasons not to be here. Two were, one was sick, one was, had a knee operation, the other had an important event in his parish. But all of our priests are here. <laughs> these are, and these are very special days for us as priests to gather together so that we can actually evaluate our lives, improve in areas that we need to, and look at ourselves honestly. 
The last two nights we have stood or knelt before the Blessed Sacrament in the awe and wonder of the presence of Jesus incarnate among us under the veil of bread, the Eucharist. So we've had two nights in worshiping Christ himself. Today, though, is different because we're going to invoke the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has a way of getting to our consciences, getting to our hearts. St. Ephraim says, God the Father is like the sun in the sky. We, we can barely gaze upon him. God the Son is like the ray of light from that sun. But the Holy Spirit is the feel and the touch of the warmth from the sun. And so that's what we're celebrating today. We are invoking the Holy Spirit who has the power to change our hearts, to make us more real. And so last night, I told all of us that this chrism mass is going to take a pound of flesh from us. It's going to take the sweat of a priest and the tear of a repentance. And the last 24 hours, I've had both. And so it's with some fear and trembling that we approach this invocation of the Holy Spirit into the chrism and into the holy oils. Our decisions, brothers, mine and yours, our decisions, our attitudes, our lifestyle, our priestly work, our speech. I approach that for myself with fear and trembling. After 20 years as a bishop, I still approach it. I know I've made many decisions and made, had attitudes towards my brother priest, towards people in the parishes, that I know that I have to improve. And I get on my knees and I ask God to help me improve. And all of this is important because either we draw people closer to God or sometimes by mistake we turn them off. And you have said very beautifully the other day, Bishop Felipe, that Sometimes we own our own jar of water and we refuse to let it go. And sometimes we build our own cisterns that hold no water instead of allowing the living water to well up within us. And that, those, are, those are things that sometimes are hidden from us. And sometimes we just need that assistance. And as you said, Bishop Felipe, about each one of us, there's many choices to make, many responses to make to the signs of God. And sometimes we're on the side that we do it the right way. And when we see that success, we really know that that's from God. But sometimes we also see that we're on the other side, responding to the signs of God in a negative way. So for all of that, all of that, this particular reading from, first, from 2 Corinthians came to me last night as I couldn't sleep. St. Paul says, We cast down every proud pretension that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring every thought captive in obedience to Christ. That particular passage reminds me and I think you too, brothers, that we hold within our hands the very, the power of the keys, the power of the mysteries, the power of God's grace. And it reminds me, I don't want to be among those arrogant elders who accused the woman caught in adultery and then left shamefacedly after accusing the woman, they left one by one. 
It's important for us, brothers, as we approach this chrism mass, to be on the side of the Holy Spirit. Because today we will do three things. We will consecrate the chrism, which means that we are set apart, as the beautiful Kolo from today says, we're, we're set apart, apart from Satan's gaze, so that we can be God's people. That's the chrism, consecrating us, setting us apart through holy baptism. And then there's the oil of baptism, pre-baptism, that prepares and prevents. That's the, the red veil. And then the third is the oil of the sick, to heal and give remedy. The Holy Spirit works through us as poor and as inadequate as we are. We've heard from the epistle that John says that the, let that anointing stay with us and from the gospel that Jesus was anointed and he said this will be remembered wherever the gospel is preached. You know that sheep are anointed, the heads of the sheep are anointed for three reasons. <laughs> One, because they headbutt each other. In their pecking order, they will headbutt one another, hit each other in the head to make sure one person stays in that place, one person stays in the other place. So the shepherd is wise enough to know, and so he anoints their head with oil. <laughs> so sometimes it's not, it takes the strength of the blow off the head. Another reason the sheep's head is anointed because there are flies and worms that get in their eyes and their ears and causes diseases. So they're anointed to prevent them from getting illnesses. And the third, they are anointed because if there's any wounds, that anointing helps heal the wounds. Brothers, we have the privilege of anointing the heads and having our, our heads anointed by the Good Shepherd. For those reasons, he knows that we butt heads with one another and with our parishioners and they butt heads with us. We know sometimes that we get wounded in the battlefield and sometimes we need some extra help. And third, we need some prevention. We need that careful prevention so that we won't get those flies and worms to help slowly destroy us. Brothers, we will consecrate an oil that consecrates us. We will prepare and prevent by God's grace with another oil, pre-baptismal, and we will help God heal and restore us. In these ways, the Holy Spirit helps us to destroy any proud pretensions in us and give us the grace to serve as his priests. May the Holy Spirit be with us as we call him down to be that anointing for us and for those who serve. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.
according to your gospel, to delight in the pleasant aroma of your Holy Spirit, and to be a pure dwelling place for your divinity. O Christ, you are indeed the lover of all people. Again and again we proclaim with words that please you, praying, O Jesus Christ, our Lord, forgive us and have mercy on us. And fill with your hidden power and the grace of your only begotten Son. And the indwelling of your Holy Spirit, for you are holy and the giver of blessings now and forever. Amen. Let us stand in prayers. Let us pray together with the contrite heart. For this holy anthem, behold, this is placed before us. The priests and deacons, like the seraphim, surround it. The power of the Most High descend upon it and his mercy and compassion support it. As the bishop is about to consecrate it, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, may your servants and worshipers who are anointed by this anointment be worthy to receive the awesome gifts of the grace of Christ. May they obtain their share of joy and light with those who from the beginning were sanctified and served you in the joy of the kingdom of light. In your mercy, make us worthy to be heirs in your kingdom, in the company of those whose names are inscribed in the book of new life. Go the consecration of this holy chrism, through the consecration of this holy chrism, the chrism of our Lord Jesus Christ. May Almighty God sanctify the world as his filter with the pleasing fragrance. To you, O oh God, be glory forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us stand in prayer. The mystery concealed to the world, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, has appeared in the flesh. The holy chrism was concealed, and now it appears in the midst of the church. It reflects for us the coming of our Savior from the Father into our world. Now the veil is removed, and grace and mercy have been given to us now and forever. Amen. Amen. The love of God our Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, the communion and dwelling of the Holy Spirit, be with you, my brothers, forever. 
and with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It is right and just in holiness that we glorify, thank, and praise the Lord. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the O living Lord and God, you are almighty, good, and sweet. Now send your living and Holy Spirit upon this chrism to make it the seal of a perfecting oil for the assistance and salvation of all true believers. Father Claude. You instructed Moses to mix a precious ointment made of sweet-smelling fragrances. When you chose to sanctify your people through mysteries and symbols, you will that this ointment be consecrated. You instructed the high priest to perform it once a year and to consecrate the Ark of the Covenant and all its vessels with it. Now that the shadows of things past have gone away and the truth has appeared, Behold this holy chrism consecrated by the bishop. It is the seal of your living and holy spirit who dispenses spiritual gifts and perfects all the mysteries of your church. By it may your faithful people, redeemed by the blood of Christ, be anointed that they may become your flock and a holy people to please your divinity. We raise the glory to you, O Lord, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. We sign and seal this holy oil in the name of the Father, the living one for the living. Amen. God, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other kings. Alleluia. Alleluia. And in the name of the only begotten Son, from whom comes life and pardon for all the living. Amen. May the name of the Lord be blessed forever. Christ was anointed by the repentant woman, and he forgave her sin. Alleluia. Alleluia. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, the beginning, the end, the perfection of all that was and will be in heaven and on earth, from whom comes life forever. Amen. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have mercy on us, O God, and hear us. We especially remember the holy, glorious, and blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Remember her, O Lord, and through her prayers have mercy on us and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living and Holy Spirit descends and rests upon this chrism. Let us stand with reverence and pray. May the peace and security of God the Father be with us as we proclaim three times. Lord, may your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, come and rest upon us and upon this holy chrism, that by his descent he may bless this chrism, make it an oil of gladness, a royal chrism, a robe of glory, a mantle of salvation, a spiritual gift, an incorruptible seal, an armor of faith, and a shield feared by the adversary and his forces. May those who are anointed with this oil be sanctified, protected, and redeemed. 
May they raise glory and thanks to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Almighty Lord, in your mercy, may we be pure ministers of your new covenant, that now your altars and churches with this holy chrism, that they may become the dwelling place of your divinity. We raise the glory and honor to you, to your Son, Jesus Christ, and to your living and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. As-salamu li May the love of God our Father and of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, be with you, my brothers, forever. And with your spirit. Again and again, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy chrism, consecrated, completed, and perfected by the indwelling of the living and Holy Spirit. For Father Bishop Gregory John, consecrated. For the faithful flock who carry it in procession. And for those who are prepared to receive the seal of the life of Christ our Savior, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Peace be with you. As-salamu li Bow your hands before the God of mercy, before his forgiving all, and before this holy present which gives life to those who believe in it and receive the blessing of the Lord. We have consecrated this chrism of our Lord Jesus Christ as a seal and perfection for the Holy Church and her children. May the grace, the merciful grace of the Holy be Only Begotten that the holy life-giving trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, with our gathering, with all the children of the church. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One God to whom be glory now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, O Holy Chrism. Almighty, Almighty Lord and God, you welcome those who repent. Now in your compassion, welcome us. And in your grace, pardon our faults. In your abundant mercy, wash away our sins, that we may raise glory and thanks to you now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord God, may we be worthy, stand before you awesome and divine splendor, with purity and holiness, and to receive the gifts of your living and Holy Spirit from you. You are indeed holy, with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O oh Lord, we stand before you with all the prophets and apostles, and we adore you in your mercy. Perfect us in our faith. Let your living and Holy Spirit come and consecrate the soil. Fill it with your might, and let your divinity abide in it. May those who believe and are signed and anointed with this oil become holy and pure. Once they are perfected in baptism, call them to stand at your right hand, shining in the glory of your kingdom, and they will raise glory to the most exalted Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. O holy and glorious Lord, you anointed prophets and, and priests, now may your power descend from your heavenly heights and dwell in this world. May it become a sanctifying heart, a purifying essence, and a pledge of holiness for the bodies of the faithful. May those who are
so that they may raise glory and thanks to you, the only Son, and to your living and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. this oil in your holy and exalted name. We sign it and with it we anoint your servants. We petition you asking your grace that those who are baptized and anointed with it become sharers in your body and forgiving blood. May the forces of the adversary stay away from them for you are the mighty one and the ruler of all. We raise glory and honor to you to your only begotten son and your living and holy spirit now and forever. Amen. O oh, Lord God, make us worthy to be filled with your divine teachings, to live according to your life giving commandments, and to consecrate this world, that it may be for us the healing of the faithful who are anointed by it. You instructed us through your blessed apostles to anoint those who are sick with oil. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will heal them and forgive the sins they have committed. We raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, in your abundant mercy, you cure the ills of the body and the soul. Now bless this oil that it may become a healing remedy for all suffering and sickness. You are compassionate and merciful, and we raise glory and thanks to you, now and forever. Amen. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we thank you, and we ask you, forgive us, O oh God, have mercy on us, and hear us. Lord, we stand before you with all the prophets and apostles. We adore you and in your mercy perfect us in our faith. Let your living and Holy Spirit come and consecrate the soil. Fill it with your might and let your divinity abide in it. O oh Lord, through the Holy Spirit may this oil be an oil of gladness, a joyful oil, a holy oil, a shield against the forces of the adversary. May it bring peace to the hearts of the faithful. May those who are anointed with this oil shine in purity and holiness, like the stars in the heavens, and the just ones will shine like the sun in the eternal kingdom of life. For them and among them, we raise glory, honor, and praise to you, to your only Son, and to your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. We ask you to have mercy on those who are victims of captivity, exile, and slavery. Sustain sinners and forgive them in your mercy. Save those who are tempted by the adversary. Heal the sick. Deliver those who experience difficulties. Bless the poor and those in need. By your holy angels, protect the children of your church and grant rest to the souls of our departed. Through the intercession of Our Lady, the Virgin Mary, St. James, and all the saints now, and forever. Amen. While the bishop washes his hands, you might want to grab a mass book for the next part of the mass. We'll continue with the creed in a moment. Let us stand and profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son.
came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day on a crucifixion. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and is seated down the heaven. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess the baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord to come. Amen. We look so like a cloak, a holy light of whisper in the high cloak, or to show. God, as you accepted the offerings of our ancestors, now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and for your holy name. Shower upon them your spiritual blessings. In exchange for these earthly gifts, grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the blessed mother of God. Saint Marin and all the saints, remember, O oh God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers and our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom this sacrifice is offered. We offer it for you, the priests, for the people that you serve, for the sick, for those to be baptized, and for those who have any special needs, especially those entrusted to our care. Remember also, Lord, all those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. Amen. of St. James, page 794. God the Father, lover of all people, through you, though we are unworthy, make us worthy of salvation, purified us, purified us of deceit and hypocrisy, 
united in a bond of love and peace, through our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, may we give one another a greeting of peace with a holy kiss. We glorify and honor you, your only begotten Son, and your life-giving Spirit, who is good, life-giving, and consubstantial with you now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to your bishop of the church. Peace to your priests of God. Peace, O priests of God. And peace to your ministers of the Holy Spirit. Merciful Lord, you dwell on high and look down upon the earth. To the grace of your only Son, send your blessings upon those who bow before your holy altar. We glorify and honor you, your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, Baruch Morish Kohnet. Now and forever. Amen. O God the Father, in your love for all people, you send your Son into the world to bring the lost sheep back to you. Do not turn your face away from us as we celebrate this spiritual and bloodless sacrifice, relying on your mercy and through the grace of your only Son, we ask that this mystery instituted for our salvation not be for our condemnation. Rather, may it blot out all our sins, forgive our faults, and be an expression of our thanks for your goodness. We glorify and honor you, your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The love of God our Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, the communion and dwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers, forever. And Amen. with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. <laughs> Truly it is right and just to glorify you, bless you, praise you, adore you, and give you thanks, O maker of all things visible and invisible. The highest heavens and all its powers praise you. The sun, the moon, and all the stars, the earth, the seas, and all that is in them, the heavenly Jerusalem and the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, the angels, archangels, and heavenly hosts, all sing praising your majestic glory with triumphant hymns and with never-ending voices and with acclamations. They cry out and proclaim. God the Father, King of the ages and giver of holiness. Holy is your only Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Holy is your life-giving Spirit. Merciful Father, you instructed us. Through the law, you called out to us. Through the prophets, you guided us. And at the appointed time, you sent your Son, our Lord, the God, Jesus Christ, into the world to renew your image. He came down, and by the Holy Spirit became flesh of the holy and life giving Lord.
For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and profess my resurrection until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O oh Lord, we remember your death, your resurrection, your ascension into heaven. You're sitting at the right hand of God the Father, and your glorious second coming when you shall judge the world with justice and reward all people according to their deeds. Now we ask you, do not repay us according to our sins and transgressions, but in your compassion and love for all people, Cleanse us of our sins. We, your people and your inheritance, implore you and through you and with you, implore your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father. Have mercy on us. نحن أيضا يا رب أبناك الخطأ في من أقبلوا نعمك نشكرك عنها ومن أجلها كلها. إياك نسبح إياك نمجد إياك نبارك لك نسجد بك نعترف ومنك نطلب فأشفق اللهم علينا وصدنا واستجب لنا Mercy on us, O God, Father Almighty, and send upon us your holy life for the Spirit, who is consubstantial with you and the Son, who spoke through the prophets and the law, in the New Testament, he descended in the form of a dove by our Lord Jesus Christ in the Jordan River and on the holy apostles in tongues of fire. Anin morio, anin morio, anin morio, monite moro ho hayo kadisho, nagin alay wal kurbono no. by his descent he may make this bread a life-giving body, a saving body, a body of a heavenly body, a body that redeems our souls and body, a body of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life for those who receive it. Amen. May the mixture in this chalice, the blood of the new covenant, make the, make the mixture in this chalice, the blood of the new covenant, a life-giving blood, a saving blood, a heavenly blood, a blood that redeems our souls and bodies, the blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life of those who receive it. Amen. May these mysteries be for the sanctification of the souls and bodies of those who share in them, that they may excel in good deeds. May they be for the strengthening of your holy church, which you founded on the rock of faith, that the gates of hell shall not prevail against her. 
delivering her from all heresies and doubts until the end of time and forever. Amen. We offer you, Lord, this sacrifice for your holy church throughout the world and for the holy places that you have glorified by the presence of Christ, your Son, especially for Jerusalem, the mother of all the churches. Remember our pure bishops who spread the word of truth, especially our blessed fathers, Francis, Pope of Rome, Bashara Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, Gregory, Bishop of this local Latin church, and me, your servant, your unworthy servant, and all bishops, and Felipe here present, and all bishops of the true faith, and all the orders of the church, and those who serve her. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. and earthly beings, the faithful departed who have died in the true faith. Grant them rest and do not take their faults into account. Through our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is without sin, we hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant rest, O God, to the departed and forgive the sins we have committed with or without full knowledge. Ma sum rabina yasul masiya, ruhik al hayal kudus al ana wa ila la ba.
are the pleasing oblation who offer yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offer yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offer yourself as the Lamb. Through your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father of mercies, and God of all consolation, you have sanctified the offerings and the gifts presented to you, and have perfected them by the grace of your only Son and the descent of your Holy Spirit. Sanctify us, so that with pure hearts and enlightened souls we may call upon you, Holy Father, God of heaven, pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Yes, O Lord our God, lead us not into temptation that we do not have the strength to, over, to endure. But when we are tempted, deliver us through Jesus Christ our Lord. We glorify and honor you, your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your hands before the God of mercy, before, before his forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the Lord. O Lord, we bow our heads before you, awaiting your abundant mercy. Send your blessings upon us and sanctify us, that we may become worthy to share in your holy mysteries. Through the grace of, your, of our Lord Jesus Christ and his mercy and love for all people, you are blessed and glorified with him and your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers, forever. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. That each one of us look to God with reverence and humility and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy with perfection purity and sanctity. One, one Holy Father, Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, blessed be the name of the Lord, for he is one in heaven and on earth. To him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for a new life. O Lord, our God, to you be glory forever. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus, for the forgiveness of my sins, and for eternal life, the time to walk in the way of truth.
Again and again, we thank you, O Lord, and we raise glory to you, for giving us your body to eat and your life-giving blood to drink. Ya muhib al-bashar, irhamna. Irhamna, ya Rabb, ya Halum, ya Rahum, ya muhib al-bashar, irhamna.
We thank you, O God, the Father, for your great and indescribable love for all people. Since you have made us worthy to share in your heavenly banquet and in your Holy Spirit, do not forsake us for having received your holy mysteries, but keep us in the radiance of holiness and righteousness. With these saints, may we obtain a share in the heavenly reward through the grace of your only Son and his love for all people. We glorify and honor you, your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, who is good, life-given, and consubstantial with you, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with Jesus. your spirit. Jesus, our Lord, bless us, protect us, guide us on the path of life, favorably remember the departed of those who have shared in this Eucharist that was offered upon this divine altar. Grant protection to the living and bless them with hope. To the prayers of the Virgin Mary and all the saints, but of Morish now and forever. Amen. After lunch today, Father Dominique will ask a few to help him to fill all of the little bottles for chrism for all of us. And then the Father Fatty will mail them to us um, at the beginning of next week. So you should have them by the end of the week. We figure that's the easiest way to avoid confusion. Okay. And uh, we know that you could not take them in your carry-ons. Definitely not. So that's why. I want to thank everybody. This, this is really, uh, your words today have been beautiful. And I thank you all, brothers, for this beautiful privilege that we've had. We'll do the traditional prayer. Also, also, Bishop Gregory Parks will be here today for lunch. He'll be here shortly. Is it 12.15 yet? Almost. Oh, oh, so we're almost on time. Oh, not bad. If Bishop Gregory 12. will be here, it's filet mignon. Yeah. <laughs> so Bishop <laughs> Gregory is about six foot five, so we look up to him. And do it'll be a great a joy to see him today. <laughs> we'll do the prayer of the, uh, the traditional okay. Feast. For special feasts. O Lord our God, you are good and merciful, compassionate, and you accepted the sacrifices and offerings of Abel, your humble one, Abraham, your friend, Melchizedek, your servant, and all the patriarchs of old. Then you accepted the offerings of the apostles, the fathers of the church, the martyrs, and all those who believed in your name and pleased you by their works. Now, O Lord, in your mercy and compassion, accept this holy sacrifice that we have offered and through it grant peace to the world. Amen. Amen. Forgiveness to sinners. Amen. Amen. Health to the sick. Amen. Amen. Hope to the brokenhearted. Amen. Amen. Consolation to the grieving. Amen. Amen. Rest to the departed. Amen. Amen. Freedom to captives. Amen. Amen. Companionship to travelers. Amen. Amen. Guidance to those who are far. Amen. Amen. And protection to those who are near. Amen. Amen. O Lord, may your merciful right hand bless with me, Bishop. Bless this country and this place. And all those who live here and believe in your name, keep them from times of trouble and from deep sorrow. Deliver them from dangerous temptations and from whatever might harm their body or endanger their souls. Guide our civil leaders who believe in your holy name. Forgive my sins and the sins of this group of priests and all those who rely on the intercession of Our Lady, Mother of the Light, St. John the Baptist, St. James, St. Marin, and all the saints, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the one God to whom be glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. I leave you in peace, O holy Lord, altar, altar, and I hope, hope to return, return to you in peace. peace. May the offering I have received from you be for the forgiveness of my faults and the remission of my sins, that I may stand without shame or fear before the throne of Christ. I do not know if I shall be able to return to you again to offer another sacrifice. I leave you in peace.